on duty this weekend. I've got a few things to do this morning and um, as it's dry and it's going to be quite a nice day, I thought I'd get her out. She's a bit cold as usual, I've only just started her up so a bit fluffy again. But yeah, just off to go and do the food shopping. Thought I'd take her along for that. I've also, so I'm visiting Aldi and Tesco's. I've also got to uh, pop along to B&Q to pick up a few things. I'm going out later. I've got a, uh, about a 80 mile round trip later on to pick up my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law. And whilst I'm there, at my mother-in-law's, I'm also going to be painting her bathroom ceiling and her bathroom door, skirting, etc, etc. Um, I won't be taking Doris for that run. Uh, although I know she's more than capable of going down there and back. As I did do a 170 mile or thereabouts round trip a couple of weeks ago. And she behaved really well then. But today, it's all about time <laughs> or lack of it. So I want to get down there as quickly as possible, get done and get back. Jobs. It's a little bit of a increasing list of stuff that I need to do with Doris when she comes off the road for the winter. Although I don't plan to take her off road for all of the winter, I want to try and continue to, try, uh, to sort of use her if I can. But I've got a few jobs I want to do. Um, you can still hear the squeaky seat. <laughs> I do have. Um, a little bit of a noisy release bearing on the clutch sometimes, so that's going to need to be dealt with. It's a obviously it's a carbon uh, thrust bearing on this, so they do wear pretty quickly. So I need to sort that out at some stage. It's not desperate, but it's not going to last forever. Um, I've got a couple of little custom touches I'd like to make to her. And I've also got, I've still got the rear bumper to fit, of course. I've got a bit of a running problem as well. A very strange thing happens when you're sort of cruising along on a light throttle and then you squirt your foot down to get a bit more power. She starts to die and peter out. It's almost like a, a multiple misfire. I don't think it is, because it was doing it um, before when I had the electronic ignition and it's still doing it now that we're back on points and condenser. Um, but when it does it, it smells very, very weak. Um, Riching the car up by pulling the choke out sometimes helps. Um, but yeah, it's an odd one. It doesn't do it all the time, it's quite intermittent. Uh, spoke to my mate who used to work on BMC years and years and years ago and um, he seems to think that it might be the uh, piston in the SU carb getting stuck because apparently Minis used to suffer with it years ago um, so at some stage I'm going to take the carb off and have a look at it strip it down he did also mention if the spring on the piston isn't the correct spring that can also do it so we will have a look at that see what's what. Um, talking of my mate, I will be um, at some stage fairly soon, I was hoping to do it today but I've just got no time available today. At some stage soon we will be doing a little video and photo shoot of his 1959 Sunbeam Rapier. He was quite interested in me doing something following the little short that I did the other day. I uh, did a short on Doris, just 
took her down the road lunchtime and did a little bit of video. Um, also did that as a, uh, what's it called, a reel on Instagram. And um, he quite liked that and said, oh, I wouldn't mind you doing something like that on the rapier. So I'm hoping to, at some stage, in the not too distant, do that for him. Obviously I'll post it up on here. And also, he has a very nice 19, I don't know if it's a 61 or a 62 actually, Ford console, um, two-tone, uh, Imperial Maroon and Ermine White, I believe. Uh, very nice car. He's owned it since 1970, so he's owned it a good few years. It's a lovely car. Um, actually took me to my wedding. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice also to get a decent bit of video and some some fresh photos of that because I haven't photographed that car for years actually. Um, and also, I've got, God, there's loads of stuff coming up. I just don't have much time at the moment to do it all. We will also be doing a similar thing with um, Indy's little uh, Nissan Micra. I don't know whether you saw on Instagram the other day, I put a post on there, someone had very kindly dropped in a little Prezi for me, which was a workshop manual for Morris Minor. That was um, a, a friend of one of the people I work with, lovely girl, India, she's got a K10 Nissan Micra. Um, and uh, basically I said to her at some stage, I'd love to get some photos and video of that. Uh, takes me back to my youth a little bit because I used to work on Datsun as it was at the time. It is actually a Datsun, I believe, not a Nissan, this one. I used to work on Datsun and um, I remember it from my apprenticeship days working on those little beasties. So uh, yeah, that will be great fun. So that's coming up also. Right, let's get a bit of shopping done. I will uh, be back shortly. things um, I need to get from there. We do the majority of our shopping at Aldi, but um, <clears throat> there's a couple of things we always get from Tesco, so I'm off there. Always up to Tesco's, get, uh, get the remainder of the food shopping, and then I'm off down to the doctor's to, actually no, I'll go to B&Q first. And then I'll, oh, a little bit uh, too hefty on the speed bump. Yeah, I'll go to B&Q, get the few bits I need to take down to mother-in-law's with me, and then I'll get my flu jab afterwards at the doctor's surgery. It's all go, all go today.
might take her to work and give her a clean off later if there's time, but I've got the feeling there's, there's not going to be much time. Did you see me go for fifth then? <laughs> oh dear, obviously the, um, the diff is high on the agenda of stuff to do. I did find one on eBay for quite a reasonable price. I don't know whether it's still there, but I just haven't got the money this month. It's a really expensive month. Um, in October, it's my wife's birthday. It's my son's birthday. We're also going away for a few days in, um, well, towards the end of this month, we're going away for, I say a few days, almost a week, um, in Somerset, which will be nice. Really looking forward to that. It's a horrible bit of road this evening in a modern car. It's um, those sort of prefabricated concrete sections. And uh, even in my other car, it's noisy. In this one, it's very noisy and bumpy. I didn't bring my um, my blue badge with me, so I went to park Doris in the blue badge park in an Aldi, and um, I left it in the other car. So I must remember not to park in the blue badge in Tesco's, otherwise I'll be in trouble. Yes, yeah, so I will do when I get the chance. Aside from doing. Um, Obviously, Owen Sunbeam and the console, hopefully, and India's little K10 Micra. I will also do a proper walk around Doris and show you her walks and all. Give you a good look around her, because you've seen, obviously, bits and pieces throughout the videos. But it'd be nice just to show you around and show, show you everything on her. She's, um... She's quite tidy, but she's by no way, uh, no means pristine. But all I ever wanted was um, was to get her shiny and nice looking, and be able to drive her out. And even like when I go to places like this, where I where I'm parking her in a car park, I'm not too worried about if it picks up the odd ding or scrape here and there. I've got plenty of paint left. I can always um, touch the odd bits in here and there. I'll park her here out the way. There we go. I won't, I'm not sure whether there's any more to see on this video or um, I might set, set the camera up and uh, take you along to the doctors as well if not then um, I will catch up with you in the next one hopefully it's not too far away like I say I am planning to do a few things on the channel so it'd be good to have you along but uh, oh in other news as well I have actually reached 200 subscribers today I saw so thanks to my 200th subscriber for uh, for signing up to the channel and um, obviously uh, being notified of any new videos uh, if you're not subscribed please do so there's plenty of cool stuff coming but in the meantime I'm gonna go and finish the food shopping I will see you soon
blue jab if I can still get it today. I think they are operating until about 4.30, but I was waiting in much longer than I anticipated for the parcel. Um, so we will see. If it doesn't happen today, they have got some more walking dates. So we'll have to see what happens. But the sun's out. I must say it's a cracking day. It's lovely and warm. You wouldn't think it's October. taking my other car down to Liminge. Little classic car show in B&Q car park. 